Welcome back everyone to Moons and Pearls. I'm here to do a spiritual update for Gemini. Let's see what's in your current energy. Um, thank you to each and every one of you guys for all of your love and support. I greatly appreciate it. All right, let's see what's going on in the general energy for Gemini. Let's see, mantra, so uh, power in your words, change, transformation, and we're going to talk about this, trying to, I don't want to say control energy, but you're, you're paying more attention uh, to your words. Powerful mantras, it's probably a good reminder for me too. Sometimes I, I should, um, I, I listen to mantras on online sometimes because I have so many things on my mind, so just to help um, to realign your mindset. A good idea so either you're starting to or it's just a um, what's going on in your energy um, giving your power power away allowing others to choose for you wasted potential um, stuck in the mundane so I feel like stagnancy um, when you could be doing more um, so I feel like affirmations consciousness inner voice and alignment is what you're trying to do but there's um, like a little bit of stagnancy here. Um, and sometimes not being aware of your thoughts. Um, so align, align your creativity with positive reality and um, going through a change there too. Lots going on with you, Gemini. Let's see. Shift, movement, realignment, disruption, transformation, metamorphosis. Realignment, basically that's what's happening to you guys. It's a whole realignment. So to help you guys out, make sure you're listening to some positive mantras and remember that you're very, very powerful. You are loved and um, your powers have all your powers. Your words have a lot of powers. Mixing up all the words here for you guys. Hot flashes, I don't know who, who or what is going through hot flashes. I feel a little warm. All right, what's been the challenge for Gemini? Okay, more on the challenge for Gemini. I feel like you've matured a lot through your recent experiences. You've had to grow up or you've had to learn to let go of certain situations. Um, and I feel like the challenge has been to continue to be happy regardless of how you've been treated. Um, there's been a separation or divorce that um, really triggered a lot of um, changes in your life. So part of the challenge is to continue to be happy um, and to trust the process. Like this is, um, because there's a divorce here and unhappiness and feeling not sure where your path was going to go is just accepting it and then trying to move on and look for um, like other doors, other avenues. I don't know why I'm hearing doors, uh, maybe moving places. Um, tell me more on this challenge here. For, uh, yeah, Gemini. Yeah, I think you went from being in a very toxic situation, relationship, to taking some time at what you had invested in, whether it's time or money and everything, and then really trying your best to focus your energy and money on you. So the challenge has been how to um, continue to stay positive um, after going through what you've been through. Um, and more so in the last couple of days, I feel like your mind's been um, because you've been in a transformation of realignment, you, um, you've had to go back and revisit certain situations. So let's see what's in your current energy, current energy for Gemini. Repeated patterns, or feeling like something was unfair. Unhealed heart chakra. Third party, third party, third party. Um, let's see, tell me more on this current situation for Gemini. What's going on with Gemini? Current current situation. Walked away from a situation that was a repeat.
repeated cycle, but I also see there's things of the heart. There's manipulation, lies. Someone has said very hurtful things. Somebody's going through a loss of finances or unstable home if you're still living with someone. There's lots of threes here. Um, so I feel like you have been waiting for your ships to come in. If you were already separated, kind of like, okay, what's my next move? What am I gonna do? How should I move on from this? Or if you're still in a situation, waiting for the perfect time to leave, to get out of this, this energy, this cycle, okay? One more for current energy for Gemini. Feeling a little confused on how or what you should do, okay? Let's see what's coming towards you in the near future. There's still confusion here. I see a lot of confusion, but when you realize that how strong you're, you're, you are in terms of what you say, what you manifest, what you listen to, um, once you're able to get yourself out of this illusion state or phase, you're gonna become this very, like we have the queen of wands, very intellectual, very smart, very logic, and very satisfied. I see that you're gonna either be at a job where you feel good, or be at a place in your life where you feel content. Maybe not extremely happy, but just in a good place in your life. So it's coming, you guys. Hang in there. It's coming for you guys. One more for what's coming towards Gemini. You're gonna, um, I feel like there, I see a lot of conflict or um, arguments, but I don't see you paying much attention to it because it affects your energy. Um, we have the high priestess here, so you know people's intentions. Um, you, you get a feeling from what they say, what they're trying to say in order to hurt you, to, to change your focus, to, to mess with your transformation. So continue to ask and pray for discernment um, so that you can gain the wisdom to continue to move forward in a much better positive direction for you guys. I feel like very tongue twisted with you guys, Gemini. I don't know why. Let's see, what do we have for Gemini for this reading time? 